will concentrate on saving in a single directory with a single file name. I can save data as linear, square root or log and choose a data saving interval accordingly. If I want, I can save all of the calculated data in addition to backward compatibility with old GDS software. Of course I choose a file name and continue. Save. Next I need to choose a sample and set up the sample details accordingly. We have a few questions. Is it a new specimen? Yes. Is it docked, i.e. is the load cell in contact with the sample? No. We can set up optional specimen details, such as the sample name as follows, where the sample height and diameter is of course compulsory. The RAM diameter corrects any RAM upthrust caused by the radial stress acting on the load cell. Now we can add a test. GDS Lab is a modular program where you only need to buy the appropriate test DLLs for your requirements. Here we have a number of test DLLs where I will now perform an example test on a few of the simpler modules to get an idea of how a test is set up. If I choose standard triaxial for example, choose to create the stage, we get the standard triaxial module on the screen. If I choose to perform the shearing stage of a consolidated undrained test, I then select the appropriate cell pressure and velocity. A number of termination conditions may be set. For example, we may want to terminate at a maximum axial strain of 10%. Maximum deviator stress or the maximum stress ratio, whichever occurs first. I can also set the test to go to the next stage automatically if I then go on to set up further stages. I then add that test to the test list. I can now click on the test list and see that I've set up a single stage of a consolidated undrained test. Just as an example, let's set up an advanced loading test. Other modules installed on this PC include K0, permeability, saturation and consolidation, the standard triaxial that we've, we've already seen, stress paths and triaxial acquisition. The advanced loading module, a flexible test stage that allows the cell pressure, back pressure and axial actuator to be individually configured. Here we will set a constant cell pressure and a constant back pressure. And we can set the axial displacement as a slow cyclic sinusoidal test control with a datum of 0 mm, amplitude of 1 mm and a period of 4 minutes. We have optional test termination conditions that we can set before adding this stage to the test list. Now we have two stages in the test list. If we want, we can save that test list to a file to be recalled at any time in the future. Now we are ready to go to the test display screen and choose to start the test. We have some further questions regarding specimen docking, which we agree to. Then we can see that test stage number one is running. We have three graphs in the test display where the axes can be changed to any of the raw parameters or a number of calculated parameters as, pr as appropriate from a comprehensive list.
If at any time we want to go to the next stage, we can skip immediately to test stage number two, our advanced loading test. The displayed live data on the right hand side of the screen can be changed accordingly. And we will come back to this test in a few minutes when it has continued to an interesting stage. This test has now been running for 17 minutes. If no test termination parameters have been set, the test will continue indefinitely. If test termination parameters have been set, the test will stop when these events occur. I hope you have found this introduction to GDS Lab interesting. Thank you.